Donald Trump's comments often resonate deeply with public concerns about the decline of security, leadership, and American sovereignty. The entire world is emptying out their prisons and jails, their insane asylums, their mental institution, and our country's being turned into a dumping ground, and the entire world is laughing at us. They say, how stupid are the leaders of America? And they are stupid. Earlier this week, I arrested not one, not two, but eight suspected terrorists. They're pouring in at levels that nobody's ever seen before. And we're going to pay a big price. We've got to get them out fast. One of the first things I'm doing, we're getting them out fast. According to reports, many of these terrorist savages entered through Joe Biden's open border and Crooked Joe released them immediately into the United States. He set them loose to spread their terror network all across America under Biden. There has been a, this is, by the way, Border Patrol. This isn't me. Somebody would say, oh, that's Trump. This is Border Patrol. There has been a 3,000 percent increase in the number of people on the terror watch list crossing the southern border. Three thousand percent. Three thousand percent. The choice for every voter this November is clear. You can have a president who lets thousands of radical Islamic terrorists into our country, or you can have a president who throws radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country and gets them out fast. His assertion that the U.S. is becoming a dumping ground for criminals and those with serious mental health problems taps into a profound sense of unease and vulnerability among many citizens. Trump's critical stance towards the current leadership's handling of these issues reflects a broader anxiety about the influx of potentially dangerous individuals and the threat they pose to national security. In his characteristic style, Trump calls for decisive action, advocating for strong border policies and the removal of individuals deemed threats to the nation. He frames this approach as essential to protecting U.S. citizens and preserving the sovereignty of the country. This narrative emphasizes individual responsibility and true leadership, suggesting that leaders must prioritize the safety and protection of their citizens above all else. Trump's remarks can be seen as a clarion call for responsible governance, aligning with existentialist psychologists' views on facing difficult truths and making tough decisions to safeguard the nation. His rhetoric often highlights the importance of confronting uncomfortable realities and taking bold steps to ensure the country's security and stability. The impact of Trump's rhetoric on the public's collective psychology is significant. His descriptions of open borders and the dangerous influx of individuals can heighten public fear and create a sense of urgency. By framing the situation as a dire threat, Trump's narratives about power and determined action appeal to a deep-seated need for security and stability. This, in turn, strengthens the collective resolve to address perceived threats, fostering a more unified and determined populace ready to support strong measures to protect their way of life. 